Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my three-step skincare routine. These are the products I use to implement these three steps, depending on whether it's day or night. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to share my skincare routine. I love to watch other people's skincare routines, and I haven't done an update on my channel in quite a while, so let's just get into what these favorite products for my skin are. So to start off with cleanser, one of the ones that I use on a daily basis every time I wash my face, when I'm in the shower, one of my absolute favorite go-tos, and it's a drugstore affordable alternative. It comes from Biore. I didn't really like their charcoal one. I felt that it really dried out my skin. But this one is great for combination skin, which I have. This is their baking soda pore cleansing kind of exfoliating cleanser. It's very mild, it's gentle, it's oil free of course, and it's just a baking soda pore cleanser. It's amazing. It smells like mandarin and mint. Very clean, very refreshing, and I feel like I haven't been breaking out as much since I've been using this. I really like it. It's my go-to when I'm in a hurry, or I don't have time to wash my face with a million things or do a mask. I'll reach for this guy. I really, really love it. And then when I'm feeling fancier or when I want to wake myself up a little bit more in the morning, I will use the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. It smells like cucumbers. It's very, very refreshing, very soothing. It does remove my eye makeup, so I can use it at night. It does a great job of pretty much removing all makeup. I really like it more than the next cleanser I'm about to mention, but I wanted to say this one first because it's a little bit pricier. I have the smaller size. I think it's fantastic. I don't use it every day because, again, it's expensive and I don't want to run out of it too quickly. But it's a great morning one to wake my skin up, to wake myself up, but it also removes all makeup at night as well. It's very soothing, it's great for sensitive skin, and it smells amazing. This next one, I keep it in my arsenal, in my routine, simply because it does really remove my mascara easily. And even though many people claim on YouTube that it's not drying. I feel that it is a little bit drying. My skin feels tight after I use it, so I've stopped using it all over my entire face, and now I just use it to remove my eye makeup in the shower or at the sink. And it's Purity from Philosophy, the One Step Facial Cleanser. I just feel it's a little too tight on my skin, so I've stopped using it on my entire face. It works great for removing your makeup, it does. And I will use it on my face on occasion if I'm wearing a lot of makeup and I really want to just get that stuff off my face. I'll use it, but I'll quickly follow up with a moisturizer because otherwise this dries out my skin way too much. It's a great product though, and if you're looking for something to simply remove your mascara, especially waterproof mascara, you want to wash your face with it, then I recommend this. But if you're looking for something for more sensitive skin, something that won't over dry, then I recommend the Soy Face Cleanser from Fresh. I think it's a little bit better. So the next step in that skincare routine comes serums. That's the most important thing. It's what's going to help your moisturizers absorb that much better and just work that much more. So I have three. I have a drugstore one. This is the Soothing Face Serum from e.l.f. It's amazing. It works well. It's affordable. But I like this one from Benefit just as much. It's the Instant Comeback Facial Serum. I feel like these are pretty comparable. This is around 40 bucks. This is maybe... I don't know how much this is, but it's definitely not anywhere near even $20. It's really cheap. It's maybe $8, I think, or $10. You get a lot more here, I feel like. This, you have to pump three, four, sometimes five times just to get enough to put onto your face. Here, you only need like one pump. This one smells really good, though. All of the Benefit skincare smells amazing. I think it does work well. But again, if you don't want to fork over those 40 bucks every time, then try the one from e.l.f. because it's pretty nice, too, and it's very soothing. To mention the most holy grail serums that I have found so far that I really like. It's expensive too, it's around $40 as well I believe. But I did receive it as gratis when I went to a training session with Ulta and Bare Minerals. So I feel like it's okay, I can treat myself to this, you know, it's kind of like a gift. When it runs out, however, I will probably start to worry. So I use this one on very, very special occasions, not every night. And it's the Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion Serum, which is meant to empower, replenish, renew, and fortify your skin, creating a youthful glow and a nice supple soft skin. It works amazing. I actually had two little vials that were samples, one from Ulta and one from Sephora. I used those out completely. I haven't used this one yet. I still have it in its box because I've been trying to finish my Benefit one and my e.l.f. one first. But when I used the little samples of this, I was in love. My skin felt really soft, even better than it did with the Benefit or the e.l.f., but it's a $40 product. So I will be using this guy sparingly. And again, like I said on special occasions, but it's an amazing, amazing serum. And the last and final step to my skincare routine is moisturizing, of course. So my favorite drugstore moisturizer comes from Simple. This is what it looks like in the box. And this one in particular is the one that is called Rich Moisturizer. It's not the light one that has SPF. This has no SPF. So I like to use it at night when I come out of the shower, sometimes in the morning. And it says it works for 12 hours. So your skin really does feel moisturized. I feel like when I do this in the morning or at night the next day, I don't have any of those dry patches on my face, so I can easily apply makeup 
of course I do prime, but I think having this moisturizer in my routine has helped that patchiness to go away. My skin isn't so scaly or dry, especially in the winter months. This is my go-to moisturizer. And I use it pretty much day, morning, noon, night, anytime I wash my face in the shower, anything like that. I follow up with this guy and I don't mind going overboard using it all the time throughout the day because it's drugstore, it's affordable, and it's 4.2 fluid ounces, which will last you a heck of a long time. This will last you a good six months, if not longer. And then for the two moisturizers that are pricier, and they're actually both from the same brand, but I really like them, and one is more for winter and the other one's for summer. So starting with the summer one, it is the Origins Vita Zing SPF 15 Energy Boosting Moisturizer with Mangosteen. This has a sheer tint release. It looks gray in your hands as you rub it in, but once you put it onto your face and you're slowly blending it throughout the face, you get this little bit of glow, a little bit of radiance. Not like you got a tan, but just like a very subtle glow. It takes your face from being pale and maybe a little too dull to a little bit more of a glow and radiance. It's very natural though. It's sheer. It's buildable. It has that SPF 15 in it. I feel like my skin does feel energized when I put this on. This is what I reach for on those super early mornings when I have to be somewhere. I have to have my face on, but I don't feel like putting on foundation at six or seven in the morning. I'll put this on and then I can bronze on top of that and add my blush, a little gloss, lipstick, mascara, and my skin is a little bit more even toned. It has some radiance to it. It doesn't look dead or red or splotchy. So this is my go-to for those kinds of things. And also in the summer when you just don't want to wear makeup but you want your skin to look nice you don't want it to look red and you don't want it to look dry and you want to protect it from the sun this is a great go-to it's about thirty dollars but i use a little bit and i don't use it every single day and it's definitely a holy grail if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that i love this and then this other one, I don't use it that much because I originally bought this because of YouTube. It was recommended by somebody saying that it made their skin so soft, it got rid of any texture issues. I think this is targeted more so to the dry to very dry skin type, which I'm not really. I'm more normal to combination. So I do get a little bit of oiliness. And it's the Origins High Potency Nitamins. It is a great moisturizer. I'm not saying that it isn't, but I think this is better for a more dry skin type, especially in those winter months where I get the dry patchiness around my nose or between my eyebrows. It's pretty much the only places I get dry. So I'll pretty much only only pop this on those very very dry areas right here and then moisturize the rest of my face with the other moisturizers that are more targeted to my skin type bonus this smells like fresh oranges which I'm kind of a sucker for anything that smells like oranges it smells really good so that completes this video I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about my skincare routine what my three-step process is how I like to cleanse use a serum and then moisturize and what products specifically I like to use in those three categories. Hopefully this helped you guys out in some way. Maybe you found it useful. I don't know. I just thought it would be fun to film it and kind of update my routine for you guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you did, you can subscribe down there if you're new to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. It's 4.2 flower. Flower? Light today. Come on, boost up.